Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Jayco Jayfeather 22BHM. If you're looking for a non-slide bunk model and you want double over double bunks with a sofa and a campsite dinette, then this is definitely one you want to pay attention to. Speaking of that campsite dinette, let's start right there. So this is one of my favorite things when manufacturers able to fit this into a floor plan. And the reason is folks, is this is where you'll be sitting to have your breakfast, your morning coffee, and this is the view you want. They're able to give you this big window so you can see out to your campsite and not stare out at your neighbors. Also, if you need some extra sleeping space, this does drop down into a bed. You simply remove the legs here in the table and the table itself drops down onto some rails, take the back cushions, put it on top, that will create that sleeping space. Now mind you, most adults probably can't sleep here, but it is great for an extra child. Or if you need a place to put a pack and play, you can drop this down and put the pack and play right on top of that. If you need to do some work, maybe plug in a laptop or tablet. There is an electrical outlet down here as well, so you're able to plug that in while you are sitting here at the table. Making the way across the top here, you can see you have good storage. One of the things I like they do is that they put struts on here. So that way it's easy one hand operation for these overhead cabinets and that's good storage going all the way across there folks. If you're looking for a good spot to maybe put some of your uh, plates or cups you know that you know you don't really have room for in this kitchen setup, you certainly have a lot of space right there. If we take a quick look at the ceiling here, you will see the AC unit directly above me. The controls are right on, right on it, so super simple to use. One, of course, is your fan speed. The other one will be your thermostat. And then right over here, you will also see the high output fan. So that way, if you cook anything and you need to quickly get smells out, or if you don't want to run the AC and you just want to open up some windows and get some airflow, that will be uh, what you will want to use right there. Making right back a little further here, you have some more storage right back here. You'll see that the shelves here are removable. If you want to take these out, you can, you know, maybe put like a small tension rod or something in there to be able to hang some clothes. Uh, but either way, that is some good storage. That bottom one is completely open there. Right behind that and in between the bunks, you have this indoor outdoor table. This is pretty neat because if you want, you can take this up to the couch, which I'll show you in a little bit. You can set it up there if you have you know, multiple people coming over, you just need more space to eat inside on a rainy day. Or on a nice day, you can also take this outside, even if it rains, it's a composite. Not like it's gonna rust on you or anything like that. You can take it outside there, it is a indoor outdoor table. Right back here in the corners are your double over double bunks. This of course is the main feature of the floor plan here. One of the great things uh, on these folks is you have 300 pound uh, sleeping capacity on here as well. So, uh, you know, even if you have an adult sleeping on here, it's not an issue. Or if you have a, you know, a tall child, no problem there either. LED lights on both the top and bottom. You have windows on the top and bottom. Grab rail in order to aid you climbing into the top bunk. And both the top and bottom also have a shelf with an electrical outlet. So if the kids need to plug in a cell phone or a tablet, they're able to do that there too. Uh, but if you take a look at the bottom bunk here, this is pretty cool. You know, it's small storage, but it's storage nonetheless. They certainly didn't have to put it in there. Most manufacturers wouldn't, but I do like the fact that they tucked that away there. Right here on the wall is your thermostat. This, of course, will control your heat as your AC, as I mentioned, is controlled around the AC unit itself. Now, tucked right back here is your toilet. You'll see the foot flush lever toilet right there. And next to that is the tub shower. I like having a tub in a bunkhouse because if you have to give the kids a bath or you prefer to give them a bath over a shower, you're able to do that. You'll also see you have some shelves in there as well as your hand wand, skylight up top for extra headroom, let in some natural light as well as a vent fan, LED lights of course too, and you have some robe hooks on the wall there. Then right over here to this side, you will notice your sink top right there, electrical outlet over to this side in case you need to plug in a hair dryer, curling iron, anything like that. And you know, a lot of people don't like having the sink outside the bathroom, but folks, as a camper myself, I personally like this. That way, you know, if the kids are in taking a shower or using the toilet, I can be right out here brushing my teeth and washing my hands, whatever else I have to do. I personally like this setup myself. Underneath, you will see you have some extra storage there. Right up top here, you have mirrored medicine cabinet. And as you'll notice, you have a little bit of storage behind that as well. Right up top here is your TV. They do have this on the mount, which is kind of cool. So it's nice and easy, right? If the kids want to watch TV before bed, there you go. You can flip it just like that. It can be on the dinette or you can flip it this way. Uh, but it's pretty cool that they already did that for you on the swivel mount there. 
And then right behind that, you'll see you have extra storage. They didn't waste this back here. They, again, they could have left that, just put a panel up there, but instead they gave you access to that storage. Right underneath is your Dometic fridge freezer combo. If you take a look in there, you have the drop down freezer compartment here, pretty decent size. And this one also does run off both propane and electric with automatic switch over. Making our way up a little bit further in the kitchen here, you have your two burner cooktop there. And next to that is your double bowl sink with the high rise faucet. So wash and rinse and dishes is nice and easy. You have the decorative backsplash on there too. You have the window to let in natural light during the day as well as an LED light there to uh, brighten it up at night. Across the top here, we have the hood with a light and fan, microwave right there. Again, just like on the other side, our overhead compartment has a strut there for easy one hand operation. Multimedia center right over here to the side, folks, that is hooked up to the TV. Cool thing about this, not only does it control the speakers in here and outside, but it's also a DVD player. So if you do want to watch a movie, pop it in right there, you're good to go. And it is Bluetooth capable. You will notice you have a little bit of extra space right over here for prep. Uh, also, if you have a coffee maker, you can set that right here. You have an electrical outlet right down on this side in which you can plug that in. As far as storage underneath, you have your drawer right over here. It is extra wide so that way you do have enough room for uh, you know, both your silverware as well as some of your other utensils. And then underneath you have great storage here for pots, pans, or anything else you want to stuff into the kitchen. When we take a look up front, of course, we enter into the master bedroom. You do have a curtain here to close it off for privacy. And you will see up front you have a Murphy bed. Now, before you change the video and say, I hate a Murphy bed, I'm telling you folks, Jayco has done it right. Just wait until uh, I drop this down for you. I'll show you how easy it is to make up. Probably one of my favorite Murphy beds in the industry. Uh, right down below is your jackknife sofa. So if you're not familiar as, or as to why a manufacturer would put a Murphy bed in, it's for this right here. Rather than just having a bed, which most people feel really uncomfortable sitting on, especially if it's not their camper, they give you a sofa. So that way people can come in, you can entertain guests, have more seating. You don't lose any storage as it is a jackknife sofa, so you still have great storage there underneath. To make it into a bed, you simply jackknife it down, just like you would expect there. You will undo these on both sides. They're pretty easy to uh, undo here, just like so. And then you will take this, you can grab the handle here, pull it down, just like that. Now, normally, you won't have the plastic on there, so the mattress won't stick. Normally, it'll fall down a lot easier. Uh, but the cool thing about it, folks, if you notice, this is a one piece mattress. Most of the time when you have a Murphy bed, it's a two or three piece, not the case here. So this does make it pretty simple. Uh, you know, that way you can make the bed and it drops down. Again, without the comforter there bowing it out in the plastic, it drops down pretty easy. On both sides here, you will notice you have mirrored wardrobe. You have a hanging rod up there. So if you wanna hang some clothes, you can certainly do that. And underneath, you will also see you have a little shelf there as well as an electrical outlet. So you can plug in your cell phone and put it on the nightstand. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at some of the outside features of the Jfeather 22 BHM. Starting off right up front here, folks, is your power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Just flip a switch here to raise and lower the tongue. You'll also see on the other side, you have an LED light right up front. So that way, if you're hooking up or disconnecting at night, it adds a little visibility. And in the rare event that this does fail, if you remove this cap right here, there will be a hex head down in there so you can manually move the jack. That way you're not stuck. Right behind that, you have your 20 pound propane tank there. And if you take a look behind that, you will see rails for your battery. Uh, one other thing to note, folks, this one is a BAL huck bolt frame. So if you're not familiar with huck bolts, it is an advantage over a welded frame. It's actually stronger than a welded frame and it's easier to repair in the event that it takes any damage. They can actually remove this section of the huck bolted frame, bolt a new section back in. So it'll definitely save you money on the repair side of things. If we take a look at these sidewalls here, you will see that this is a fully laminated product. It is vacuum bonded. Both your sidewalls as well as your rear and front wall, all of it is vacuum bonded, which is pretty darn cool. 
The roof is the Magnum Roof System. Uh, that is a Jayco exclusive. They do some really cool things there to really help strengthen the roof. They use oversized nail plates. They use two by two vertical supports instead of one bys. Uh, and they also screw everything instead of using staples. And then on top of that roof system, they have Diflex 2 roofing, which is probably one of the best roofing materials out right now. It's a fleeceless TPO, and it has basically all the advantages of a rubber roof without the big disadvantages. So it still has the flexibility, the main reason people want the rubber roof, but you don't have to get up there and constantly add the plasticizers every year, and you won't get near as much streaking. So definitely a great roof system there. We take a look at the front storage here. Now you'll notice this is not a pass through. Instead, you have the two storage uh, compartments on either side. And the reason for that is because of that Murphy bed. So, you know, there's definitely, like with anything in RVs, when you're comparing and contrasting, right, there's pros and cons to everything. You get probably the best Murphy bed in the system, but it does take up some of your outside storage here. You also have a large power awning, folks. This spans the entire length of the camper here, which is awesome. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. You do have an adjustable pitch there and LED light underneath, so you have light at night. You'll also notice that you don't have any vents on this side, so all this space here underneath the camper is all excellent usable camp space. Getting into the camper is nice and simple. You'd have two foldable steps there as well as a grab handle to help you enter and exit the RV. And making our way back a little bit further here, folks, let's take a look at those wheels. Beautiful aluminum alloy wheels on there. Great thing about aluminum alloy is not only does it look great now, but it will do so for years to come because aluminum doesn't rust. In between, you have the Equiflex suspension, which is a rocker suspension. Helps take a lot of those bumps out of the road while you're towing it. And right up top, you have a cable slash satellite inlet as well as two, or outlet rather, I'm sorry, as well as two electrical outlets. So if you want to hook up a TV, you have the mount right there, mount it, plug it in, you are good to go. As I showed you inside, right here is that big window right by the dinette. So again, I love that this is here. Not only does it let in all that natural light, of course you can open it for some airflow, but again, the more important part is it gives you that view to your campsite, not out at your neighbors. Up above that, you have your two outside speakers. If you don't want to watch TV, maybe you want to listen to some music, right? You can do that. Uh, those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but as I said, that is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here in some chairs, you can use your smartphone to help control that music. One of my favorite parts about a bunkhouse though, folks, is this right here when you're able to put in an outside kitchen. And so that's what we have right here is our refrigerator that we can have some condiments as well as some beverages out here. You'll see the blue accent light. You can turn that off the control for it's right there. As far as providing uh, actual light, you have another LED puck light right here. You can drop this guy down and see you have great storage up there too. So if you want to put some paper plates in there, some solo cups, things like that, that's a great spot for it. Electrical outlet right over here to the side. And my favorite part of this outside kitchen, folks, is this right here. This is actually strut supported. That way you don't have to worry about pulling it out and locking it in place or the same when you push it back in. It's super simple and easy to use. You have the sink right here as well as your two burner cooktop here. It's a little dusty there. It does have to be cleaned yet. But one of the things I like about it is this is a stainless one. Most of the time they give you a black one. The stainless just looks a little bit nicer. And in order to operate that, you will basically hook a line up underneath. You will take that line and there's a propane quick connect right underneath there that you hook it up to. Now, if you don't want to use the cooktop, maybe you have a grill that you love, you can set your grill up here and use the same propane quick connect. Not a problem at all. As we come around to the back here, you see your uh, square tubular bumper on there. You do have the end caps. That way you can slide your sewer hose in there so it's not roll around with everything up front. You also have another propane quick connector right here. So again, as I mentioned, you have that grill, you can plug it in here as well. You have the spare tire hooked up to that bumper. Hopefully you never have to use this folks, but in the event that you do, it's a great peace of mind knowing it's riding right back there for you. Super easy to get at. Take a look top and center and you see the backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera on here folks, this makes it a lot easier to install, meaning it will be a lot less expensive to install. Here on the off-door side, you have your 30 amp detachable power cord right there. 
Moving up a little bit, you have termination right here. You'll see both your gray and black tank valves are located there too. Right up here is your outside shower. This does have both hot and cold water access. City water inlet right here. Black tank flush valve right next to that. Don't get those two confused. Uh, your black tank flush here is great, folks. Rather than sticking a hose down a toilet, hook it up right there. Black tank has sprayers built in that washes it out for you. Your cable or satellite inlet will be right there. And if you're planning on going camping where you don't have city water, you'll definitely want to fill your water tanks, and you will do that right there. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Jayco J Feather 22 BHM. If you're interested in this bunk model and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.